The Idaho GOP caucus is coming up on March 2nd. I'm your Idaho Backroads neighborhood reporter, Steve Dent, and I'm looking into how people in rural areas vote. And the first thing that I noticed that even in the smallest of small towns in our state, there's a precinct. You might know Yellow Pine for their famous harmonica festival near the end of summer. But most of the year, it's pretty quiet. According to the 2022 census, 327 people live in this mountain town a long way from anywhere. So it'll be a two hour drive for me to go up there. It's, you know, in the back country, we're talking snow on the road, but I'm ready for it. I've lived in the mountains all my life, so that's not a problem for me. Faye Thompson will be the captain of the Yellow Pine Precinct, so registered Republicans won't have to make this drive to vote in the Idaho Presidential Caucus. We really want everybody to be there. We'll have the doors open for an hour and a half from noon to 1.30 um, for people to come in and sign the poll book and be there to vote. But it is, it is very important. Each precinct will feature five-minute speeches from the candidates. They have signs, ballot boxes, and ballots all ready to go at locations in Atlanta, Jordan Valley, and Loman, courtesy of the Idaho Republican Party. We've got all this already mailed out two weeks ago to every one of the caucus captains. They've got this stuff. So they don't have to print it. They don't have to make their own signs. We gave them the signs. Smaller communities like Yellow Pine or where I live in Stanley, We've got them all covered. Chairwoman Dorothy Moon in the Republican Party also went to every county in Idaho back in October and November for training in preparation for the caucus that happens Saturday, March 2nd. This is an exciting event. This is new and it's uh, it's going to be a simple vote and it's only going to take two to three hours to do, but I'm, I just want to go up there and hang out with those people. I'm your Idaho Backroads neighborhood reporter Steve Dent for Idaho News 6.